what you can expect next year. This is predictions, you know, it's not for the zodiac sign, but it's based on your time of birth. So keep watching. Hi, everyone. I'm Sandra, professional astrologer, Feng Shui consultant, and the life coach. On, on March 19, 2024, we just entered the year of the sun. Every year, based on astrology, we have the ruling planet. And um, every year, this ruling planet changes. And on the March 19, 2024 until the March 20, 20, um, 2025, we have the rural planet of the Sun. Last year, it was the rural planet of the planet Mars. So every year, uh, the planet changes. So for example, the 2020, we had the year of the Moon planet. And when we stayed, everybody at home, then in the 2021 was year of the Saturn and where this like real estate boom came and like everybody just bought the real estate. Then in the 2022 was the year of the Jupiter. And it is a year when um, some people moved to different countries or um, so many people found spirituality. Uh, and also in 2022, it's when I found spirituality. Uh, the year of 2023 was year of the Mars and it's a year of the conflicts, wars, um, and uh, maybe also to achieve the goals. Uh, but uh, usually year of Mars is very like conflict-based um, year. And we had like a lot of wars. And the 2024 is a year of the sun. And the year of the sun, for the sun uh, in astrology represent your, you, like your personality, your, um, how you shine, what kind of leader you are. Do you have a charisma? Do you work on your charisma? Uh, it's all about your personal development. So this year is uh, when you really need to tap in of who you are. So it's energy of understanding yourself. Yes. So this year, uh, year of the sun, what just came in March 19. Yes. It's year of the artists or mus musicians. So maybe there'll be new faces in the music or some, maybe some uh, actors the year of the sun always brings some new talents um but also if you're not a musician or <laughs> or uh, you're not the actor this is a good year for the career um it's kind of um you show yourself you show yourself out of the world yes so for, for example if it's uh year of the venus yeah then it's more like you think about your relationships yes but here with the sun you think about yourself you think about um your career uh you think like Okay, what kind of person you are, you like uh, how you can improve yourself. And it's important in this year is not to go over the like egocentrism. So it's like, oh, it's me, me, me kind of, yeah. But more about like um you know when you know yourself, um, you also understand other people. Yeah. So it's kind of um through understanding yourself and um understanding your strengths, your weaknesses, you understand yourself. Uh, but if you already kind of pretty familiar like uh, your strengths and weaknesses uh the next step will be to find your best career your business um and kind of go there to the your business achievement yes and otherwise astrology is very great because um if you are into astrology um so if you are into astrology astrology can help you to understand what kind of person you are and in the year of the sun is like the best thing what you can do in your life <laughs> for this year uh, and but if you kind of understand what kind of person you are, and but you want to know about your career, then also astrology can help you um, to find your best career and kind of deep uh, deep um, in this career aspect. So this was kind of uh, just overview of this year of the sun for like overall theme of um, personal development, leadership. Um, there will be uh, you will see a lot that uh, there will, you will see. A lot of people who will tell that um who is the power who is the boss here like uh it's my time like right now in the president election yes like who is the boss yes because um where they get to this uh, arrogance yeah when they use the sun energy of the neg negative negative um, side um so you'll see a lot of kind of more individual people who are like i'm very arrogant like getting very arrogant yes um, but you try to um, find yourself what kind of person you are. Yeah. So this is kind of big theme of this 2020. Uh, if you're just if you are in the gemstones, <laughs> uh, there's the two stones, stones of the years. You have the sun stone, and it is um, 
main talisman of the year, the sunstone or the citrine. If you want to improve your wealth this year, um, you can wear the citrine uh, gemstone, like some bracelets. Yeah. Um, kind of the color of the year uh, is the Pantone uh, color of the peach fuzz. Um, and the sun color is a yellow. So it's kind of yellowish kind of color. So Pantone usually follows the trends of the astrology or like <laughs> somehow they usually use the trends. Yeah. Uh, and now we'll go to the predictions. Uh, I will share you um, what you need to do, what what step by step. Uh, on the screen, you will see the predictions. Um, so we will go to the prediction, predictions for you. Uh, but to use these predictions, you will need to know your time of birth. Very important. So what you need to do. Um, and if you are very basic in astrology, I hope you will understand it. <laughs> Should be. Uh, I'll try to really um, explain you what you need to go to. Uh, but for everybody who is very experienced, it will be very easy to understand um, what what I mean. Yes. Uh, the first is um, to create your natal chart. Um, I will um, add the link in the description uh, where you can create your natal chart. Natal chart is a photography of the skies on the time when you were born, where it was like all the planets was. Uh, on the time of the second where you were born. So natal chart or like astrology chart, yes, this is like circle kind of chart. Um, then in this natal chart, you have a different planet. <laughs> uh, and you need to find the planet of sun. Yes, you need to find where in this natal chart you have the planet of sun. And I will show you how to find it, hide it. Uh, and you will need to find the houses. In the astrology, we have like 12 houses. And you will need to find the... Uh, which sign like which um house was ruled by the zodiac sign um leo because the leo is ruled by sun and um i will not go deeper why it is uh but this is like just basic what you need to know like you need to find the leo of the sun you need to find the planet sun you need to find the house what's ruled by uh zodiac sign leo um yes and um, sometimes you have maybe two different houses and you, sometimes you have like one house. But let's go deeper and show what's how. Uh, so in this example, uh, you can see, so this is circle is a natal chart. <laughs> uh, and you can see uh, in this chart, you see the sun. This is kind of circle and dot inside. This is sun in the astrology. Uh, and the sun is in third house. If you go like up, you can see the tree. Uh, like you have like the circle and in the circle you have like one two two four five six seven eight nine ten twelve so this is the houses means then you have a planet and then you have the zodiac signs uh, so you need to you find the sun somewhere in this circle where all the planets you have a sun and then you need to find where uh, the house which is so this is house number three if you have uh, issues with it you can email me um, sandra um, um, hello at sandramassman.com and I will help you to find where's your sun. Yeah. So for example, in this um, natal chart, the sun is in the third house. Yes. You can be in the fifth, sixth, whenever as any other houses you can have. Uh, and next, what we need to find, we need to find uh, which house is ruled by the zodiac sign Leo. Which, yeah. Um, and in this example, you can see the Leo. It's a sign Leo. You can see in the example how the sign Leo looks like. And again, there's a house what cross zodiac sign Leo. And there's a, in this example, it's a house 12. You can have any other houses or can, what cross the zodiac sign Leo. Yeah, and this example is 11. Again, um, if you have any issues how to find it, you can always message me. Yeah. And then, um, so what we have, how we have, we have that the sun is in the third house and the um leo is ruled by the 11th house so the changes will occur in the third house and 11th house so this person will have a changes in these houses in next year from march to march the third house is about the cars neighborhood traveling in the country yes uh, maybe courses some kind of short courses or the brothers and sisters 11th house is about the um, friendships and dreams, yeah, and also technologies. Um, so if you kind of combine this information, <laughs> uh, could be that the maybe person will buy his dream car because 11th house is a dreams and the third is a car. So maybe 
this year perfume buys a dream a car maybe he will go to uh he will go to some take some courses and where he will meet some new people it could be too um or maybe he will travel around the country and he will meet more friendships or maybe it his dream was to um travel the country uh or maybe um again like 11th house also is about the technologies and the third house is a brother sisters maybe his brother or sister will buy him um uh, electronics maybe some, some um some kind of uh, phone yeah so this is kind of what kind of issue, uh, examples or what kind of changes this person can expect yeah uh if you have issues of trying to find figure out uh, again you can message me um and now we'll go to all the houses yes because you have no idea what the houses mean <laughs> um so we will start with the house number one and you can see where the house number one starts. Um, the first house is about self-esteem, personality, charisma, and yourself. So if your son is in first house um, or the Leo is cross the first house, then um, maybe your personality will change. Maybe your charisma. Um, you like It means like you will change this year. This is like the biggest, like this year for you to change. Something will change and like you go through the big, big, uh, big transformations. If your son or the Leo is cross uh, second house, yes, then it's personal finances or nutrition. Maybe you'll have more money. <laughs> uh, or um, your financial situation will change. Uh, nutrition also is um, maybe you'll lose weight. The third house is the brothers, sisters, or the mis uh, domestic troubles. Uh, so again, like some something change can be in the third house. The fourth house is a uh, that parents and the real, um, real estate so maybe you buy a house yes uh parents could be maybe um maybe you will um start to contact with your parents more maybe you have like better relationship with your parents so it can be something change with the parents yeah uh fifth house is the kids sports hobbies and uh, um like uh, uh like dating life <laughs> so maybe if you are looking if you want to have a kid maybe to this year for you to um, have a kid maybe you will enter some sports or maybe so you'll find some hobbies uh, or maybe you'll start to date more maybe you'll find your dating partner and next year maybe you'll get married sixth house is the work colleagues and health uh, if you have a son um, in this house then um, maybe you'll find a new job uh, or your colleagues um, maybe some changes maybe some you'll meet some colleagues or maybe you'll hire some people uh, or maybe your health will change um the kind of I want to say note here that sometimes you have a strong son, sometimes you have a weak son, and based on how strong our son is, it depends on like how good our year will be. If you have like a strong son, yes, um, then um, you will be okay with the work, yes, maybe you will find a new job. But if you have like weak son, then it can be challenging, yes. But it's always kind of mean what something in this area will change. It's all what you kind of need to know. Um, because like you can tell like oh astrology told me that my career will change but then, like i lost my job it's because your son is not very strong yes so but this is this area changed uh then we have the seventh house is a marriage spouse partners it can be partners business partners but also can uh, your love partners maybe you get married or maybe you will find the, some business partner eight house one of the most difficult houses <laughs> uh loans debt stress um, maybe you'll get more loans, um, maybe more stress. I guess like maybe it can be investing too. Um, so, so can something can change in this eighth house? Yeah. But uh, if you have the sun in eighth house, um, really work on your stress management. <laughs> uh, ninth house is a spiritual development, traveling. Maybe you'll travel more abroad if the third house is um, uh, traveling inside the country. The ninth house is about traveling abroad and spiritual development. Um, if you are if you still didn't find your spiritual development, maybe it's this time when you find your spiritual teacher. Yeah. Uh, the ninth house is a career fame boss. Uh, maybe you will start your own business. Maybe your relationship with your boss will change, or uh, maybe you become more famous. Tenth house. Eleventh uh, house is uh, project dreams uh, and the friends. Yeah. Uh, astrology too. Uh, so maybe if your son is in the eleventh house. Uh, Maybe you watch this video because you love astrology. <laughs> uh, and also, um, yeah, friendships, maybe your dream will come true. So this is, could be a good year. 
Uh, and 12 house is also one of the difficult houses. Uh, it's uh, close up, loneliness, depression, uh, injuries. Um, if you have the, in the if you have sun in 12 house, I would advise you to spend more time in the nature. Really, really um, learn about um, how not how not to be lonely, but how to be be peace yourself when you are alone. Yes, this is like uh, if you have sun in the 12th house, in even like if you have sun in 12th house, it really teach you how to be okay when you are alone. Yeah, uh, and how they say uh, you're not never alone like lonely <laughs> you're never ever, ever lonely you are just um by yourself so um try to find peace of being by yourself maybe spend more time in nature uh so you don't have this depression in the 2024 um so this was a uh, prediction 2024 um comment below after you will watch it and how you how you feel about the 2024 if you need any astrology consultation about the relationships career money yourself um i'm here to help um any astro diet astro fashion everything what you need in astrology i'm here to help so thank you so much for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe